Hi, I'm Chris Ippolite, and welcome to a preview of my FileMaker DevCon 2016 session called FileMaker Go and iOS Apps One Step Integration. These are just about half of the demos that I'm going to be showing in the presentation, and I uh, wanted to give you an idea what to expect. I'm going to be talking about using one single script step, the open URL step, to communicate with other apps on the device. For example, in this demo, I show how you can communicate with the phone app and actually still come back to FileMaker after hibernation to finish your script, in this case creating a history of that call. I've also created a demo file that shows how to communicate with one single script step to all the other uh, default installed iOS apps on your device like phone, FaceTime, SMS, mail, or even maps. And this goes beyond just simply opening up an email with the address already uh, included. This uh, allows you to address an email, do the carbon copy, fill out the subject line, or even use your calculation engine to uh, complete the body of the email as well. My favorite part of this demo is where we can communicate with maps. So a lot of our FileMaker Go apps have things like uh, addresses included in them. Here we can do searches uh, for keywords, for example, in this case the Apple Store. Or we can do uh, directions. So all we need to do is pass the Maps app either our latitude and longitude, and it can give us uh, do like nearby searches, or take us to where we need to go uh, based on a starting address and an ending address, thus allowing us to be able to uh, navigate uh, right within our custom apps. I'm also going to be showing you some examples of working with my new favorite app called Workflow. Workflow allows us to extend the capabilities of our FileMaker custom apps and do cool things like in this case, tell me the estimated time of arrival of my next appointment, and then I can choose to send a text message to the person I'm meeting with to tell them when I'm going to get there, and then it passes on to the Maps app to help me get to my destination. Another example of scripting in FileMaker is, uh, in this case, I have a demo that I'm going to show you how I did where I'm assigning a task to a user. It sends a text message to that user, and when the user receives the text message, you'll see that there's an FMP URL that when they click on it, opens up FileMaker Go, opens up the app, and takes them right to the record that they need to accept. I'll show you a couple examples of that. Here are a couple of my favorite demos. This is one that we did for a famous Hollywood actor, and what we're doing here is integrating a film or a script uh, inside the application with the, uh, the studio that created the script's Twitter account. That one's kind of easy. But also, uh, we want information about a writer. So instead of having to log all the information about any film that the writer's ever created, we instead communicate with the IMDb movie app. So FileMaker's passing information onto IMDb. Another one of our favorite demos is one that we did for a fire department that tells the location of a truck's latitude and longitude. Uh, so the device is being used by a truck. In this case, the use case is that they uh, need some diesel fuel, and they're looking for all the stations nearby that have diesel fuel. And what we're doing here is giving them directions. So in our case, the trucks didn't have GPS. Now they're able to use the device, just pick a station, hit the directions, and it pushes the um, directions over to the map application. This is also our actual FileMaker uh, internal CRM that we use here at iSolutions. And uh, like any other CRM, you want to be able to record what the next steps are. So let's say we've called a customer and we determine that we want to call them back uh, with some notes on a certain date and time. That's usually where things end. But you'll notice that there's an icon over there to the right, which looks like a little clock icon with a check on it. That's uh, the, the icon for an app called Do. Do allows me to put things into the notification center. So now after I'm done, I can say, put all this information into my notification center on a certain date and time, and return me back to FileMaker to complete my script. So it's two-way communication between FileMaker and Do. But the really cool thing is that later, let's say some time has passed and I'm just using my device, up pops a notification that tells me that I'm supposed to be calling somebody now. And I can choose to snooze or do all the other things that you have on your notification center. But the really cool thing about Do is that when I view it, you'll see that I have a clickable FMP URL link. So that means not only do I know it, get information about it, but it'll go open up FileMaker Go, go right to the record that I need to communicate with, and, and bring that one forward. So we'll talk about how to communicate with Do. And then a couple other examples of some neat uh, uh, examples with uh, tr the workflow app. In this case, I'm translating. Uh, so I just have two fields. One is the term that I want to translate into Spanish, and I just simply hit the button. I send it over to this workflow app, which translates it into Spanish, sends it back to FileMaker, places it into a field, and I have some fun here showing uh, what the message was. Same thing here. Uh, in this case, instead of just taking a picture with our device and saving it into a container field, I'm passing it over to Photos uh, in cropping mode so that I can crop the image 
and then save it into my container field. So these are about half of the demos that I have in store for you at FileMaker Go and iOS apps, one-step integration. See you there.